can feel their feelings. You feel love. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> don't let the antennae fool you. This hero doesn't squash easy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Avengers alumnus and Guardians of the Galaxy member, Mantis. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1973's Avengers numbers 112 to 114, which was expanded upon in 1974's numbers 121 to 125 and 1975's Avengers number 133 to 135. From a period of cosmic wandering, which saw her travel all the way into DC Comics, to having her very being fragmented and spread across the cosmos, Mantis has had a tough life. But before all of those troubles began, this psychic superhero and martial artist and celestial Madonna was a barmaid and sex worker in Vietnam. Mantis first appeared in Avengers 112, but that was little more than a brief teaser. While the Earth's mightiest heroes busied themselves rescuing Black Panther from the Lion God, thousands of miles away, she was shown conspiring to join the Avengers with a shadowy figure. In issue number 113, Marvel kept the readers in suspense with more fleeting images of Mantis, before putting her front and center on the cover of Avengers 114, which also revealed her companion to be the Swordsman. Of course, in that very issue, after being welcomed into Avengers HQ, Swordsman and Mantis then proceed to summon the aforementioned Lion God. With the Avengers defeated, they proceed to turn on the Lion God, with Mantis performing a distracting dance to achieve victory. Hmm, where else have we seen that move? Bring it down hard! Sunday. Oh well, it's a classic 1970s convoluted plot that ultimately ended with the pair joining the Avengers, albeit without providing much insight into Mantis' past. In fact, it wasn't until Avengers 121 that we learned that Mantis and Swordsman met in Vietnam, where Mantis nursed him back to health, and Avengers 123, where we learned her birth and upbringing. As explained by her father, the supervillain known as Libra, she was born during his time as a mercenary for the French forces in Vietnam, where he took a Vietnamese wife, only to see her be killed shortly after giving birth to Mantis by her criminal brother, Monsieur Kroll. Blinded and forced to flee, Libra was found by the priests of Pama, who took his daughter in as their own, training her in martial arts and more, treating her almost as a figure of worship. It turns out, however, in an ever-thickening plot and increasingly complex backstory, that the priests of Pama weren't originally of this world, but rather they were descendants of pacifist Kree who settled on Earth. Although it seemed as if Mantis had been trained to protect the Earth from the Star Stalker, Kang the Conqueror later revealed her true identity, that of the Celestial Madonna, a woman destined to bear the child of the strongest being on Earth. Although Kang planned to turn her into his bride, the Avengers defeated him, and courtesy of Lord Immortus, Mantis was finally treated to her entire backstory. By reliving her past, Mantis not only regains her memory, but also comes to understand her destiny. It turns out that the Kree planet was once home to a sentient plant-based species too, known as the Kotati. And though they were believed to be wiped out, they were rediscovered by the pacifist Kree and transported to Earth. When the priests took Mantis in, they trained and molded her into the perfect human before wiping her memory and sending her off to finish her training amongst humankind, where, full circle, she ends up working for her evil uncle as a barmaid and prostitute. With her memory restored, however, she embraced her destiny, reconnected with the Kotati telepathically, and eventually gave birth to a child, whom the Kotati took to raise as their own. Her Earth destiny fulfilled, Mantis left the planet to explore space, where she found more than her fair share of adventure over the decades. Eventually, however, she wound up meeting Peter Quill, where she helped him not only save the galaxy, but bring together the Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't question. Believe. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.